Welcome to this video, which is part of the free course, How to Create a Platform Like Shopify, Using WordPress and WooCommerce. This platform will contain a beautiful homepage, a pricing page to sell the membership plans, and a custom login page. Users of your platform will manage their sites from a fully customized and simplified dashboard, created with no programming at all. Follow the link in the description to take the course. In the previous video, we saw how to set up the categories, attributes, and tags on the front-end dashboard. Here, we'll learn how to set up the coupons, orders, and customers. Start by opening the dashboard site. Now, create a new page. Let's first set up the coupons page. Just enter the WP front-end admin shortcode with the coupons URL between the quotations. Now edit the page on the front end. Here, you just need to select the page title, the URL slug, the default page template, and the dashboard's main menu. Now hide any unnecessary elements on the list of coupons. You can hide any column of the list of coupons. Just mark the columns you want to disable. You can also restrict this page, so just some membership plans have access to it. Users can see their own coupons, or see all coupons created on the same site. Now save the changes, to publish the page and add it to the menu. You can edit the create coupon form. It can be useful to hide some elements from this form. For example, some publish options, and the post attributes. If you want, you can edit the texts on this form, or you can leave the texts without editing. Once you're done, save changes. As you can see, the page we just created has been added to the dashboard menu. Let's create the orders page for the front-end dashboard. Now enter the WP front-end admin shortcode containing the orders URL. Once on the front-end, select the page basic information. Now hide any elements you don't want to include. Mark the columns you don't want to display on the orders list. You could restrict this page for specific membership plans. Now save the changes. You can edit the orders form. You can hide the post attributes, for example. You can also hide the custom fields section. Finally, save the changes for this page. Let's add the customer section to our front-end dashboard. The short code must contain the customer's URL between the quotations. Select the general information on the page. You can hide these WooCommerce admin elements to keep the customer's list only. As you see, this page doesn't have a heading. We'll add one, so just save changes. Now go back to the WordPress editor and add a heading for the page. Let's preview the changes. Now the page has a heading. Just update to save the changes. Here you can see how the pages will look once the dashboard is finished. In the next video, we'll learn how to set up the WordPress users and store in site settings on the front-end dashboard. 